Valentine's Day is all about love, and there is nothing I love more than surprising people. Last month, we had a big surprise for someone in my audience, and it may be one of my favorite surprises of all time. Take a look. As you know, my birthday is this week, and I've been getting a lot of amazing letters from my viewers. <laughs> Thank you. So I want to read uh, one of the letters that I've gotten. The Good morning, Miss Ellen. My name is Noah Copeland, and I'm a supply officer in the United States Navy. First of all, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I'm currently deployed overseas, but I make sure my girlfriend keeps me up to date on what's happening with the show. My beautiful girlfriend, Mora, has got to be your biggest fan. She watches your show every day, and I know that you're the reason that she's been able to get through this deployment. I was supposed to come back at the end of January, but things keep getting pushed back, and now I'm not sure when I'm going to be home since I can't be there with her. I know nothing would make her happier than getting to celebrate your birthday with you at your show. Either way, thanks for keeping my girl company while I'm away. We love you. And Mara's here. Come here, Mara. Where do you live? Oh, my God. oh here, let me give you <laughs> that. Um, I live in San Diego, California, uh -huh. right now. But um, we moved here um, about a year and a half ago from, from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. So you moved to San Diego, and then he got deployed pretty much right away, right? Yeah. Like How, five months after. We five moved. months after. Yeah. So did you have friends there? Did you know anybody there? No. So it was all just really all of a sudden. Like he went into work on a Friday, and then um, he came home from work that Friday, and they were like, "You." are going on Sunday. So he had two, ba two days to pack up his whole life, basically, oh. and just leave for a year. And he's been gone for over a year right now. Yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. so hard. Yeah. And where is he now? Um, it's called Diego Garcia. It's an island like in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And there's not, it's like a military owned island. So even if I wanted to go visit, I can't go visit him. And he, can, he and, can't come And you come can't home. meet halfway or anything? No. Oh my god. So, so you watch the show. And does he also watch the show, or do you make him watch Watch the show. No, I'm like a huge fan. I, I can't even believe this is happening right now. But um, he, I, because I'm such a fan, I made him a fan. Basically, we've been watching together while he's been away. I will FaceTime him when I'm watching, and he, you wait. You're FaceTiming while you're watching the yeah. show, and so he's watching it with you FaceTime. Yeah, yeah. That's expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I know. That's so sweet. All right, and so when is he coming home? I, he just said it keeps getting pushed back. But yeah, we, we don't know. Um, so Especially because the government just shut down all the flights that were leaving there got canceled and he can't leave, so I have no idea when he's coming home. You know, you, the ripple effect of the government getting shut down, it's, you think it's one thing and it's like, even that, that's yeah. horrible. It's really sad. All right, well, he said he wanted you to be at my birthday show, right? Yeah. This is not my birthday show, I <laughs> but I want you to be at my birthday show. No way. So bring Mara the tickets to the birthday show. What? Yes! <laughs> Mora <laughs> Noah, come on down. So much fun for me. Oh, that was, that was yeah. hilarious because when I said I called the tickets out and you were hugging me so hard and I, I was trying to turn you around because you you didn't you were just hugging me and I was I like know. he's behind you. <laughs> you got me crying again already. It was so sweet though. What's it like? So that that was the first time you saw each other in a while. That was the first Crazy. time seeing her on the screen. I was crying back there and I was like Noah, get it together. My knees are shaking. I have to walk out. I'm like I don't want to fall. Get it together. So when I came out it. Nobody was here. The crowd wasn't here. The cameras, nothing. It was Aww. just me and her in that moment, and it was, it was perfect. That's yeah. so sweet. And how's it been being back together again for a while? It's awesome. I mean, it was such a long time being apart. I just am so thankful that you guys gave us this opportunity to just be together again, and I'm just so happy he's home. It's so nice spending our time together. And so you're home for how long? For two years. Two years, so and at yesterday. some point you'll be deployed again. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't checked in my job yet, uh -huh. so I. 
don't know yet, but hopefully I'm just here for the next two years so That's I can so spend as much time with her as I can. That's so great. We had you back because you're such a cute couple and it's Valentine's Day. What plans do you have for Valentine's Day? Our big plans, we really don't have any. <laughs> However, we're going to go to the store, get some food, cook dinner, you know, throw our phones away, throw, turn the TV off, and just reconnect. You know, we've been gone. I've been gone for a year. Yeah. And I just want to reconnect with her. You know, the little things are what's important. That's the best kind of night. That yeah. is going to be great. All right, we got you a little something. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. That's cute, right? Yes. All right. And also, our friends at Shutterfly love supporting military families. They want to help you create memories by giving you $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> so... Thank you so much. You are welcome.